feel like I'm missing out on this blue roof white aesthetic. So if you can't see, we're walking uphill <laughs> for a thousand meters to see a blue roof. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, that's a nice picture. Let me take a picture. Absolutely not. <laughs> Do you love it? I love it so much. I'm so glad we came 4,000 meters for this. So cute. So here, they've got an outside cinema that you can come and view all the films. It's sport for choice, so. <laughs> Good morning! The ship is so quiet, it's half past seven and I'm on the way to the perch right at the very top to do yoga. And I'm so excited. How often do you get to do yoga on the top of a boat near Santorini? Mm. Going up. we're waiting for meditation to be finished let me show you this this is where you can go walking and running on the ship how cool is that Absolutely incredible. I'm so gutted I didn't get up early enough to do the meditation. I'm going to do that for sure tomorrow. As if I just did yoga with Santorini behind me. That is Santorini. So lovely. I can't even explain to you. I feel so happy. And we're going to go to Santorini today. <gasps> wow, what a morning. I've never had this in my life. I don't know what's come over me. I ordered clam chowder. Looks at us. Very good. It's like a cheesy soup. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Soft shell crab, Benedict. Never seen it in my life before. Insane. It's coconut vegan panatona. Panatona. It's not panatoni. Panacotta. So this is Lawrence for the time being. I'm going to go to an acupuncture workshop. So excited. I can't even tell you how big this place is. I've been severely lost about four times already. And it's only 10, 10 a.m. So there's so much to do on this ship. So Lawrence is outside. He is just having a jacuzzi, whirlpool, getting chilled out. I'm gonna come and learn about acupuncture because I'm about that namaste life. And yeah. Excited, love all this, love it, love it, love it. And then we're gonna to go to Santorini. Well, that was absolutely fascinating. I basically got a one-to-one. -one. It was done with an actual doctor, an acupuncturist doctor. I literally got to ask all the questions I wanted. This is just great, I'm having the best time and by the looks of it, so is Lawrence. Ahoy, Zayla. Ahoy. <laughs> The plan is, we're going Santorini, but it is now about 11 o'clock. Don't get off the boat until about midday because there's like a two hour wait for the cable car. Get off at about midday. Everyone rushes off in the morning. Get off at midday. Seamless. That's the idea anyway. 
I should know, I couldn't film him because he's a doctor and obviously he's telling me doctor stuff, which is top secret. <laughs> so I, I wasn't allowed to film him. Hello. I love this place. <laughs> <laughs> These big beds to lay on. This is just, we're so spoiled right now. This is amazing. I'm gutted to be leaving here and have to go to Santorini. <laughs> What a life! <laughs> First tender boat. How are you feeling? Excited. A bit emotional. Hello. 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 Welcome Hello. to Santorini. <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome. Excited. I'm actually quite sad to leave the boat. How mad's that? But we are going to Santorini. So I've just come off the boat because you have to sit on there for like 10 minutes while they wait for the boat to fill up. It's extremely rocky. I felt a bit sick and I don't want to feel sick so I've come off the boat to go back on the boat. <laughs> He's saving the seats for us because we're all waiting. What's up? <laughs> so after watching some videos on YouTube about getting off the boat, we decided to get off the boat at one o'clock because the queues apparently to get on the cable car and on the tender boats are ridiculous. I mean you'll be standing there for like two hours. This is the queue to get on the cable car now going back. We've only just got it. So people that would have arrived here at seven, eight, nine o'clock are ready to go back already. And the queue is, you're talking hundreds of people. Top tip. First impressions of Santorini. Very busy. Like, you hear that it's busy? But it's tourist, it's, it's like a tourist port. Wild. Everything's four times the price. We're trying it's to go just, like off the beaten track a bit to get somewhere a little bit travel. quieter. Agents everywhere. This bit, because we, we haven't actually seen the beauty yet. So. Hello. Taxi. Yes. Where to? Huh? Where to? Where should I get a taxi to? Oh yeah. How much? 50 euros. 50. How long does it take? Half hour. Okay. Thank you. You're there you go. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So you could get 50 euros for half an hour taxi to Oya or you can get the bus. I'm so sorry. I actually want to get back on the ship. <laughs> We're just having a lovely stroll around Fira. We've had some tzatziki and some finally. Local beer, fixed beer, I think it's Greek beer. Um, Lawrence, Lawrence has managed to ask the only person who's not Greek here. I was asking someone <laughs> how you say certain things, he was teaching me Greek. And then by the end of it, he said, I'm not Greek, you know. <laughs> so we've just got to the square. Much nicer. This is nice, this bit. See that fresh pasta? Carbonara. <laughs> if you don't want to spend 700 euros on a meal, these are an absolute bargain. Get Giros pasta, and all about eight to ten dollars. Very good. We found the nice bit. I like it now. This is all like lovely cobbled streets, little shops, beautiful. And very friendly people. There's so many restaurants overlooking the sea. I feel like it's like prime real estate. This really reminds me of Positano in Amalfi. Like the tiny little roads just full of shops and tourists and like winding around. What's weird is I was like, oh, look, where's all the white? Where's the thing that you can't see it when you're in it? But when you turn around and look at the view, you can absolutely see the white buildings. You just can't see it when you're walking in it. I do have to say, although I want to get back on the ship ASAP, this is actually stunning. This place is absolutely beautiful. You've definitely got to go to a restaurant. If you're going to eat in Santorini in Fira, find a restaurant that is on the side and you'll have the most beautiful views. Santorini. 
It is really beautiful here, but I feel like I'm missing out on this blue roof, white aesthetic. So if you can't see, we're walking uphill <laughs> for a thousand meters <laughs> to see a blue roof. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Comment answer with your favorite things you've done to please your partner. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice picture. Let me take a picture. Absolutely not. <laughs> I can see it. If you are here for the night, I would maybe have a look at staying in one of these suites because they are insane. Absolutely beautiful. Should we go now? <laughs> We're not there yet. The blue roof's up there. Yay! Yay! You made it! Oh, I don't know how I made it. What a lovely. That is, do you know what? That is the nicest blue roof I've ever seen. Do you love it? I love it so much. Are you so glad? I'm so glad we came 4,000 metres for this. <laughs> so this is the bit <laughs> of Santorini that the other place was missing. These like look, these white walls, the right white roofs. That is what the other bit that we were just in. That's what I wanted to see. Yeah. Now I feel they were white buildings with white roofs, but you're actually in the alleyway, so you can't really see it. But here, yeah, this is what you're missing. Yeah. So if you have you to come see, up here. You know what? If you want to see white buildings and blue roofs you have to travel all the way to santorini because <laughs> this is just unbelievable what's this place called santorini no not down there's thera you go up from thera sant sent we're gonna put it here because this is yeah this is where oh, you need to come worth the, the four mile track <laughs> it is definitely it is don't listen to him he just wants to get back on the cruise so cute so here if you are here for later they've got an outside cinema that you can come and view all the films it's sport for choice though <laughs> if you are on the cruise bear in mind because we completely forgot that you need to get these little um uh tokens um to like tickets basically to get on the cable card to go up and down they're included in the cruise um, we forgot so we paid six euros each for one way we're heading back to the ship it's about five o'clock there is no cure this is brilliant i want to get back on the ship <laughs> some fruit acai bowl s'mores bowl donuts some bento bowls we're just having a little snack a little pre-dinner dinner oh yeah so we haven't filmed much tonight because our camera was running out of battery but just to recap you we went to virgin extra virgin italian lovely went to a comedy show brilliant apparently these are bigger than soho so and then we go in to go and watch the Sam Slam Allen bands, which we come on Virgin. You've got to go and watch them. They're so, so good. And it's now midnight. I'm very tired. So we're calling it a night. <laughs>